Hello, I'm Stuart from Black Magic, and I'm here at NAB 2022. Um, it's been a couple of years since we've had this opportunity to demonstrate our products in person and get in front of some of our customers. Um, and I think that um, this has presented us with a really great opportunity to share some exciting new products and features that we've um, got um, here with our products. Um, I suppose the first thing to start with is Black Magic Cloud. So with the announcement of Black Magic Cloud, what we have now offered our customers is a pathway using Resolve 18 to share their projects across local or global networks um, and work collaboratively with people all over the world. There is two different ways to this. There is the software element, which is being able to share projects through Blackmagic Cloud with a $5 um, uh, license to be able to do so per library. And then there is also the hardware element, which is utilizing the Blackmagic Cloud Storage, Blackmagic Cloud um, Mini, and also our Blackmagic Pod Mini. Each of these devices is created to um, take storage or to have internal storage and have that um, uplinked directly to a Dropbox account and be able to be downloaded and accessed over a fast performance, high performance um, uh, network. Um, this means that we can work with media very, very quickly. So if you had um, editors or you had colorists or you had audio guys or graphics people, um, they could all tap into the same project and all work on the same footage and on the same timeline. This provides real syncing and real-time feedback, so any alterations that get made um, are ultimately um, played back to um, the master project. We also have the ability to drop in their proxy media as well, so if you want to actually down-res um, the footage to proxy so that people can start working immediately, um, this is also possible too. So what I'm going to show is basically um, how the Blackmagic cloud works. So what I can do from within Resolve, I can say, add a project library, and what it will do is it'll open up the Blackmagic uh, Design Project Server interface. From here, you can choose the server that is best suited for you. So in this case, I would choose Northern California. I can give the project a name, and now I hit Create. Now at this stage, it's going to ask me for payment. So it is $5 a month per project library. So you can have numerous projects within the project library. And as you can see in there, it has 10 Blackmagic Cloud users inside Resolve using the same library at the same time. So once that's set up, what you can then actually do is it will create a project library within the cloud. Uh, and then you see, again, if I go into the details here, I can actually see who is accessing this cloud. Now, unfortunately, I'm not the owner of this, but what the owner of the library can do is invite other users who are also signed into the cloud via email, and they can join the project within the project library. You don't have to keep your projects in the project library. So for example, if you've been collaborating and then you maybe want to archive the project, you can easily copy the project from the cloud to your local storage. So it is just a really easy way of users across multiple countries and multiple time zones to all work on the same project at the same time. Now collaboration isn't something new to most people, but what we, what we wanted to really try was see how we could make the collaborative process something that was incredibly fast and high performance, um, and also incredibly easy to do. All of this is uh, available now. The, um, the pod is actually available for um, purchase now. So is the, um, the Cloud Store Mini with the Blackmagic Cloud soon to be available in the next, um, in the next few weeks. If you want to actually obtain a, li a library um, through Blackmagic Cloud, um, you can actually do so. You can actually log on to the Blackmagic Cloud tab through Resolve 18, apply for an account, and actually start working collaboratively um, straight away. Mm -hmm.